a little boy named Shinshiro gets up unharmed after a plane crash. He looks around the ruins for his parents, but cannot find them. A little girl cries for help from him. She appears to be transparent to Shinjiro. He loses both his parents in the accident. Many years later, Shinjiro works in a car shop. His boss, Tetsuya, is like a father to him. Tetsuya appreciates Shinjiro's hard work and offers him a job as the manager of the car shop's second branch. Shinjiro feels like he is not qualified enough for the job, so he declines it. His co-worker, Kaneda, is jealous of the boss, favoring Shinjiro more than him. He ruins Shinjiro's workstation out of anger and lies when he is called out. The two get into an argument that ends when Kaneda pushes Shinjiro to the ground. Shinjiro is a peace-loving and calm man, so he doesn't take the argument further. However, he breaks his phone because of the fall. After work, he goes to the nearest repair store and meets a beautiful girl named Aoi. She asks what kind of phone he is looking for, but Shinjiro claims that he wants to repair his old one. On taking a look, she realizes they won't be able to fix it because it is an old model. Still, she brings a new screen and applies it to his phone as a favor. Shinjiro expresses his gratitude and leaves, but the thought of the kind sales girl remains in his mind throughout the day. Even when he returns home, he looks at his phone and smiles. The next day he is on a bus, when he notices a man's hand is transparent. Ever since his parents' death, Shinjiro has gained the ability to see through and beyond the bodies of those who are about to die. He understands that the stranger is about to die, but he cannot do anything about it. At work, his senior colleague and Tetsuya's wife, Endo Mitsuko, try to persuade him to take the job he was offered. After listening to her, Shinjiro starts to consider it. Later, he walks past the phone repair store and can't help but look for Aoi. A man bumps into him and walks away. Shinjiro notices that the man is almost fully transparent, meaning that his end is near. He follows the man to a junction where a vehicle runs him over. Shinjiro is upset that he couldn't do anything to help him. The next day at work, he asks Mitsuko what she would do if she could tell people's fate. Mitsuko dismisses the question and says that she would never want a superpower like that. Shinjiro's phone starts to malfunction yet again, so he visits the repair shop. He is excited to get to meet Aoi again. As they talk, he notices her hands are transparent and freaks out. Not knowing what to do, he runs out of the store without his phone. After thinking for a while, Shinjiro feels like he has to do something to help her, so he returns and asks her to meet him after work. Aoi accepts the request and calls him to a cafe nearby. Later that day, they meet and to Shinjiro's surprise, her hands are fully visible now. She asks him what he wanted to talk about, but he says that it doesn't matter anymore. When she insists, he claims that he could see her fate earlier. As soon as he says it, he realizes how weird it sounds from her perspective. He quickly apologizes for wasting her time and walks away. Outside, he feels a sharp pain in his heart that makes him stop. The following day at work, Shinjiro confidently walks to his boss and says that he accepts the job. Even Mitsuko is surprised by the sudden change of emotions. She asks him if something has happened, but Shinjiro just dismisses it. He is alone in the shop working late when Aoi comes to visit him. She apologizes for looking at his customer card for his address and claims that she had to meet him no matter what. They go to the office to talk over coffee. Aoi shows him the news about an explosion that took place in a factory. She used to walk by the factory every day and would have been hurt by the explosion if Shinjiro hadn't called her to meet. She remembers him saying that he could see people's fate and expresses her gratitude for saving her life. Shinjiro plays it cool and says that it must have been a coincidence. The following day, Mitsuko sees the coffee leftovers and asks Shinjiro who he had brought to the office. She is happy to know that he is finally starting to make friends because he had been an introvert all his life. This reminds Shinjiro of his former co-worker named Mariko, who used to have a crush on him. She tried her best to get with him, but Shinjiro didn't take the hint. At last, she started to date a rich customer, which marked the end of their friendship. Back in the present, Kaneda is being scolded by Tetsuya for taking a customer's car out to go on a date. He denies the claims, even though he is clearly guilty. Tetsuya kicks him out of the job and punches him when he misbehaves. 
After the incident, Shinjiro notices Tetsuya's hands starting to disappear. He panics knowing that his father-like man's life is in danger. That evening, he asks Tetsuya to go out for dinner with him. As they walk to the restaurant, Shinjiro hardly pays attention to what Tetsuya is saying because he is too paranoid about him getting into an accident. Suddenly, Kaneda swings a baseball bat to hit Tetsuya, but Shinjiro manages to save him. It turns out that he was supposed to die because of the impact, but Shinjiro has now saved his life. As Tetsuya hits Kaneda, Shinjiro gets a sudden sharp pain in his heart and falls unconscious. He wakes up in the hospital with Mitsuko beside him. He asks her about Kaneda and is told that they have let him off the hook this time. Following that, Dr. Takeo asks him if he has a history of chronic illness. When answered no, he assumes that the trouble is because of stress. Later, Shinjiro is in the waiting area when he sees an ill little girl who is transparent. He tries to follow her, but the doctor stops him. To his surprise, Takeo asks him if he can also see transparent people. The two go to the rooftop to talk about the matter. It turns out that Takeo possesses the same superpower. He explains that their ability is called Fortuna's Eye. Fortuna is the goddess of fortune told in Roman mythology and people who possess her eyes can see human fate. However, they aren't gods or prophets, so if they try to change fate, they will suffer. Shinjiro falling unconscious was also the result of him changing Tetsuya's fate. After being released from the hospital, he goes to Aoi's work and asks her out on a date. They meet at the coffee shop like the last time. After talking for a while, Shinjiro bluntly asks her to be his girlfriend. At first, she gets up and leaves, but when they're outside, she accepts his proposal. A montage of them going on several dates follows. Slowly but surely, they start falling for each other. Kaneda continues to work at the shop with Shinjiro. Tetsuya has given him his job back at Shinjiro's request. He expresses his gratitude towards him. One day, Aoi and Shinjiro go out on a picnic date. He tells her about the plane crash for the first time and claims that he doesn't know the reason why he was the only one who survived the crash. Aoi tells him the reason was to get a wife, have children, and be happy. Her words make him cry. The next day, he buys a ring for her. He also goes to the hospital to get his heart checked. The doctor tells him that his heart has taken a strange kind of damage after he saved Tetsuya. He needs to be careful or else he will soon die instead of the people he saves. That day at work, a rich customer comes in who Shinjiro recognizes as his former colleague Mariko's boyfriend. He asks him about Mariko, but the man calls her a whore. It turns out that she has started to work as a prostitute after breaking up with the guy. The customer insults Shinjiro for liking someone like Mariko. Kaneda tries to stand up for his boss, but Shinjiro calms him down. The next day, the rich guy comes asking for his car. Shinjiro notices his hand is transparent, but lets the man drive away. Some days later, he is at the guy's funeral. He is regretful for not saving him and feels worse when he sees his daughter crying. That night, Aoi asks him what is wrong. He tells her that in the plane crash, he had seen a little girl struggling, but he couldn't save her. Today's incident reminded him of her. The following day, Shinjiro is at a park when he sees an entire group of kids is transparent, along with their teacher. When the teacher sees him inspecting the kids, she brings them away from him. Shinjiro finds a paper on the ground that says the kids are going on a trip through the train after a few days. Later, when he is in the train station, he notices the entire crowd boarding the 7 a.m. train is transparent. He puts two and two together and realizes that the day after tomorrow, the 7 a.m. train is going to crash somewhere and all the passengers will be killed. Even worse is that Aoi boards the same train to go to work every day. Shinjiro goes to meet her and is relieved to see she isn't transparent. However, after a few minutes, her hands turn see-through. Scared of losing her, he hugs her tightly. The next day, Shinjiro invites her for a three-day vacation so she wouldn't get on the train. She agrees to go and plans to ask a co-worker to take her shift at work. Following that, Shinjiro calls the school and asks them to cancel the trip. However, without a proper explanation, they refuse to do so. That day, he writes a letter to Aoi saying that everything he said about the vacation was a lie to keep her from boarding the train. 
He also tells her how much he loves her and keeps it with the ring to give her later. However, his plan fails when Aoi texts him she is canceling the plan because her co-worker who is supposed to take her shift got sick. He is about to run to the train station but is stopped by the police. It turns out that the kindergarten teacher filed a complaint against him for harassing the kids. He agrees to go with them but runs away midway. When he finally reaches the station, Aoi, along with the other passengers, has already boarded the train. He quickly takes a taxi to the other station and gets there before the train does. He then notices a crane working by the tracks and realizes that it is going to fall and kill everyone. To save them, Shinjiro uses a smoke candle and stands in the tracks. From inside the train, Aoi also runs to the front and asks the captain to stop. In the end, the crane falls to the ground and everyone boarding the train is safe. Aoi runs outside and sees that Shinjiro has died of a heart attack after saving many lives. She hugs him and cries while the crowd watches them. In the following scene, Aoi is with Mitsuko talking about Shinjiro. Mitsuko says that he has started to smile a lot after meeting her. In the ending monologue, Aoi confesses that she also has the same eyes as Shinjiro did. She was the little girl who asked Shinjiro for help after the plane crash. He didn't remember it, but he had saved her life that day. At the end of the movie, she reads his letter and wears the ring he has left her as a gift. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.